Alta Motors is an electric vehicle company based in the San Francisco Bay Area. Our first product is uh, actually comes in two forms. We built a motocross race bike, so an off-road race bike um, for the kind of fastest, craziest, biggest jumps um, on the, the planet. And um, that bike will start shipping to dealers in the next few weeks. Because of the electric drive and because of the technology we developed and the software that we've developed, the level of control and performance that we can give those riders is really next level. Alto was founded in 2010. We spent our first four years as a very small team, less than nine people, just focused on the core technology development. We were able to focus for our first four years just on advancing that technology, and the result is, for example, a battery that pound for pound carries 80% more energy, or goes 80% further than anything else that the motorcycle space has ever seen. So this is our battery and electronics manufacturing area. We're, we're putting together battery packs, motor inverters, um, all basically all the electronics that, that run the motorcycle. Why build your own battery? The innovation is happening around the manufacturing of, of the battery, right? So we partner with some of the best companies that make cells in the world, but that the, the actual packaging of a battery is far more important, especially uh, when you're focused on the highest energy density uh, in transportation, which is, which is where we are. So we've got um, uh, a supply of, uh, of tagged and ready to install batteries right here. They've, they've come off the line. Um, there's, there's a bunch of the manufacturing details recorded and they're ready to deploy into the fleet. How heavy are these things? Uh, battery weighs 70 pounds, about 30 kilograms. Um, which uh, is, makes it, uh, for its energy capacity, which is 5.8 kilowatt hours, the, the, the most energy dense battery in lightweight transportation. Even I could bench that. I think you could? Yeah, yeah. Should we try? I would, but I don't want to damage it. Okay. This is our main line assembly. Uh, so this is, a, this is a bike assembly line. You know, it turns out that, that putting a motorcycle together is, is a relatively straightforward manufacturing process that doesn't lend itself well to uh, automation, right? So there's not a lot of robots in manufacturing lines. How much of the bike do you manufacture versus how much is from OEMs or other, you know, off-the-shelf parts? <clears throat> Wheels, tires, brakes, and suspension. Uh, the rest of the vehicle is our own uh, components that we've designed in-house that we control the manufacturing of. We're not necessarily doing all of that manufacturing here on site, uh, but we're we're deeply involved in the manufacturing of all those pieces. What is the maintenance like on these bikes? The um, you know this is this is this wonderful new story that the the world is yet to really understand that um, the electric motorcycle is virtually maintenance free. Now, at least at least in the drive the drive of it. So you still have to deal with tires and brakes like you do on every vehicle, but you're not really doing much in the way of, of motor maintenance, uh, oil changes, air filter changes, and in the case of the high performance motorcycle like these motocross bikes, you know, frequent engine rebuilds. And this is, this is a huge benefit for, for every user. They're going to get to spend a lot more time riding and a lot less time wrenching. Off-road racing is one of the most challenging environments imaginable for a vehicle. You're hitting 90-foot jumps, you're in loose traction, you're leaving the ground, you're hitting the ground. The shock, the vibration, the dust and dirt, water, all of that, it's the most abusive possible environment. And electric gives us a couple of advantages in that space. Um, we've developed a system that gives the rider much more control, and in an environment where the tires are constantly losing and gaining traction, that control is a huge difference in the performance and the ride experience. Um, and then for our long-term vision, if we can prove ourselves in that environment, we know our drivetrain is up for anything that the world can throw at it. How much testing goes into this before it's safe for the streets or the track? In the end, it's thousands of hours of testing. And, and this is one of the things that, that, um, that we think will differentiate us, especially over time. Um, we've, we've taken an automotive approach 
to design and the standards around design and then around the verification and validation that we've actually met those, those, those standards. Alta is going to be introducing new product on an annual basis. Um, initially, we're most focused on high performance motorcycles. We want to make sure that people have as much fun as possible in their daily trip, whether that's off-road or in the city. Um, in the next two or three years, we'll be expanding globally and at the same time, we'll be introducing a much broader set of products.